dealing with stuff that's thrown at you, I mean, one of the other things people are talking a lot uh, about recently is eight gigabyte video cards. Now, uh, yeah, so the the ninety sixty, okay. yeah, 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 okay, I'm about to get hit. Ninety sixty XT is offered in two variants. Uh, the only thing different is the the VRAM capacity. You have a sixteen and an eight gig. Okay, which and, do you want first? Do you want the the company line or do you want my my line? Let's go with the company line. You know, just company get that out line there. first is uh, there is a legitimate market for eight gig video cards. This was a smart move to have this included and the naming was done because it's the same chip and they didn't want to create confusion around the chip. It sounds like a company line. Yep. I've heard that's a company line. Yeah. <laughs> now my line, my, my take Ed, the gamer, Ed gamer, please. It was dumb. AMD should have rebranded the chip with the eight gig cards. They could have done anything with the naming. They could have used like LE. We've done that in the past. There, there's a ton of ways this could have been renamed to eliminate confusion. Now, they are correct. There's a market for the 8 gig card. There are people that 8 gigs is more than enough for what they're going to do. Uh, esports gamers, for God's sake, you don't need 16 gigs for any of the esports games. 1080p running with low detail level, 8 gig card does great. And the card's actually a good card. But the naming, that was just a bad move. That that shouldn't have been done that way. The naming should have differentiated better. 